Maggie. What's this? Look, you're devouring that. Where would you look at that? We've actually saw some cushions online. I think we're gonna get. And there we are. This is a lovely seat. Good morning, everyone. How are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to possibly the most Christmassy festive day of the whole entire year and a day that we look forward to ever since Magatha Moo came into our life. Today, we are having Maggie's Christmas and I'm very excited because we've actually had these presents since before we completed on our house. <laughs> That's how prepared we are. We went to pets at home. The minute the festive stuff was in store, and we got, we went a little bit crazy, but all stuff that we knew she would love for Christmas time. I'm glad we did because we got ahead, but we're going to give it to her this morning. She's currently having her breakfast. We had the nicest day yesterday in town. Honestly, it was the most festive day, but I didn't. An impromptu, impromptu one. Yeah, I didn't anticipate like it being as festive as it was, so I didn't take my vlog camera. Basically, we booked um, a carol concert at the Freemasons Hall in London. I'll pop a photo on screen. It was the most beautiful, beautiful place. I did not know it was that stunning inside. It's free to the public. Um, so you can go on in. And the concert was beautiful. There was a whole orchestra and a choir and we got to participate as well, which was so much fun. And we saw Vivaldi in Venice and there was like a segment of like classical Christmas music and some of Vivaldi's main songs, um, not songs, Vivaldi's main compositions, I guess you could say. And like the Four Seasons and stuff. It was incredible. Like the violinist was superb. And then we went for a little drink at the Royal Opera House. Like I had a little bit of dinner at ZZ's. It was just gorgeous. It was so nice. It's put us in the festive mood. And today is all about Maggie. It is Maggie's day today, so. We woke up, we're gonna take her on a really lovely walk after she's had her presents. And then we're gonna go to the pub, we're gonna go to our local pub, which we've never been to before. So we'll have our first little drink in there. And then Zara is gonna tackle a roast dinner 2.0. So if you watched the vlog previously, where Zara made a Christmas dinner, um, it was really delicious. So we're gonna do that again. This is like the final practice before the big day, which is next week, which is just crazy. So I'm gonna write her a whole list, a comprehensive list, print it off and then just gonna follow it step by step. And meanwhile, I'm gonna assemble two chairs. Now, <laughs> I will show you them when they're out of the boxes, but we're in a bit of a pickle, can we say? Because we currently have two sofas. We never would have had two sofas in this house, but obviously we just moved with whatever we had in the flat. Um, some things have fit perfectly, other things don't really work. And the sofas is one of them, they're two bulky and square and um, they don't really fit the space we've got two of them we don't really need two so we've listed them online and someone is going to come and collect them next week ahead of our sofa arriving which is a bit more um simple it's a bit more i would say like traditional not as bulky not as square it's not gray um just everything's just a bit more muted and chill so very excited for that to arrive and the two chairs that we've ordered are for the library so we're going to assemble them and then obviously we will put them in place in the library in the future but we'll pop them up now because it seems silly to just have them in a box that's the plan for today while well, Zara's going to be cooking I'm going to be DIYing Maggie are you done with your breakfast yet it sounds like she's still eating let me go and check on her the reason she's taken a while she normally scoffs her breakfast at him is because I've crumbled up her worm and tablet and put it on her food and she won't eat the worm and tablet unless it's essentially mashed up and put on her food so she's Taking a time. Have I ruined your breakfast? I'm very sorry. It doesn't look like you're enjoying that at all, does it? Oh gosh. Sorry about that, kid. You can come back to it. You don't have to eat it all in one if you're not really. Oh, look, it's all over your nose. <laughs> look at your waggy tail. <gasps> what could you see? Is it your Christmas presents? Oh my goodness, Maggie. Also, the best news ever, ever, ever. The piano was tuned. It's finally tuned. I had someone come out, uh, I think I mentioned this in the vlog previously, and they said that there was a couple of springs that might need repairing, um, but he didn't have capacity to do it. So I found someone else online, and he was the nicest guy. So, so good. If you, any of you are London-based, I'll link him down below. But he was working on this for about two hours. He's told me so much more about the piano. So I have pointed this out before in the vlog. 
So it says here, there we are, we've got Lark and Sons, and it's 16 New Bond Street. So it was supplied by this company. However, this is a Stanley Brinsmead piano, which are no longer in production, so they don't make them anymore. But he said his guess based on the condition of the piano and just the general um, age of it would be about 70 to 80 years old. So we're looking around the 40s, late 40s, early 50s of this piano, and he was so surprised how good condition it was in. And um, he's given the hammers a little bit of a hoover as well. But if you remember what this did sound like, compared to what it sounds like now, it's a, it's just like worlds apart. So what time are we on? Is that fine on a Saturday or Sunday? Yeah. I'll play a middle key just so you can hear how clear it sounds. It sounds very, very, very nice. That did not sound like that before at all. I'm not going to play too much because I don't want to annoy the neighbours, but it's out, even the lower keys. So nice. And the higher keys. Oh, joyous. 2024, I'm going to add that on my list. Get piano lessons. Now the piano is tuned. I'm very excited. I can't wait. How are you doing breakfast, kitty? Nearly there? Oh, sorry, she's got so much left. We're not even opening the presents. So I'm just excited for her to have them. Just show that she I, knows what's in the bag because yeah. every time we've moved the bag, she, she gets knew. So, or the gingerbread man, she's actually ran around the house with before. Yeah, so we obviously when we brought them home before, she thought they were for her straight away. So she's she, very sneaky. She'll like, she does. Go and find she the bag. puts she's her so head. Quiet. Yeah, she puts her head in the bag. So we'll obviously bring the shopping in, put it on the floor, and then it <laughs> goes straight in the bag. Let me show you. So this is everything that we've got. It's, it's not a huge amount, but it's plenty for her. So. These are the Christmas tarts we got in Pets at Home. So there's two little mince pies there. Ooh, that one's slightly cracked actually, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe she can have that one first. This is the gingerbread that she's already <laughs> picked up, but we've popped it away. How nice is that? I love a little scarf. She's gonna rip that off in precisely three seconds. And then there's a little peppermint candy cane. How sweet. Mold by midday. Mold by midday. We've got some wag steak pie and gravy treats. And then some wag lamb chop treats. And then these are little cranberry, oh no, duck and orange nibbles. She's gonna love those. We obviously won't give her all of the treats at once because she'd probably be very sick, but she can have a couple today. I don't even remember doing this. This must have been the height of the move when my brain was just scrambled. I've already wrote her a card. Right, here we go. Maggie, do you wanna come and get your presents? Here she is. Do you want to come and get your presents? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Did you finish your breakfast? Oh, I tried. It really wasn't very nice. You ruined my day. They're all for you. They're all for you. You got Mr. Chinchin. Wow. Look at that. It's gonna go everywhere, but that's fine. Little bites. Oh my goodness. Mikey, you are so spoiled. Merry Christmas, kid. Look, you're devouring that. Wow! Did you enjoy that, Maggie? Did you enjoy that? Okay, we are showered and Maggie's had all of her lovely treats. Do Christmas early because I am not going to be here for Christmas, so obviously Maggie can have... Maggie, we can enjoy their magic with her together, if that makes sense. I sometimes get asked about like what fragrances I'm wearing and I've had a couple of people ask about like skincare stuff as well. I did put it in a vlog ages ago, but I probably won't make it as like a dedicated video because I feel like not everyone wants to watch what I put on my face, but it's not really that... It's not really that inspiring as such but fragrance today I'm wearing I thought I'd mention this every now and then because I feel like I just put them on and don't really talk about them this is Penhaligon's Mr. Sam it's from the portraits collection what a beautiful 
bottle. It is the nicest fragrance ever. It's really like woody and smoky and just very, very good for this time of year. And I'm using Penaligon's Orange Blossom lip balm as well because it is really cold. I got this in the advent calendar and it is so nice. It's really like punchy and orangey. I'm gonna put my hat on. So we're gonna take Maggie for a nice morning walk and we're gonna get a little coffee and just stretch our legs before we have a day of DIY and cooking. I've dreamed of this kind of Sunday for so long and you just like, you don't really feel like you're living your own life, if that makes sense. Like I can't wait to come home and have a cup of coffee and sit and play piano for an hour and try and learn a song. <laughs> just, oh. I will stop banging on about this, but I just feel like the luckiest guy alive at the moment. I really do. Okay, I'm all dressed. I've got a new coat and I actually got this in the um, Black Friday sale. Most of my Black Friday purchases were um, practical purchases and this is a longer, more like, warm coat for when the winter really does hit in January. I always feel like it gets colder in January. And um, yeah, we're off to Cornwall for New Year's as well. So I think this will be like a good, warm, cozy dog walking coat. So yeah. All right, Maggie, you ready to go? So we've come for a little coffee and a walk with Maggie. And she thinks anything that has whipped cream on is hers for a pop cup. <laughs> Sarah's got for a, um, I got you an orange, no, a hazelnut hot chocolate. And I got a gingerbread latte. Oh my goodness. Right, so we are back. That was so nice. It was a really lovely walk. We've dropped Maggie off because we're going to go and grab some groceries and try our local pub, which I'm really excited about because we've never been. So um, we've lived here just over a month now and we've walked past it loads and it looks really nice and cozy. So we thought, tree. yeah, they do. It just entices them with the Christmas tree. So we're going to get some bits for Sunday roast, some bits for lunch, and have a little drink in the pub. Spots for Sundays or four. Gone for a lovely pint, pre Sunday roast pint. The pub is lovely. Okay, we're back from the pub and it was really, really nice. It's so cozy and the Sunday roast in there look delicious, so we're definitely going to go back for one of them. If you can hear the piano in the background. Zara, that was actually really good. That was really good. Oh my god. Right, you need. <laughs> so Zara's trying to learn We Wish You a Merry Christmas on the piano. Because when my family arrive next weekend, I can leave the door open and say. Oh, look, she's like. Right, I'll get my gingerbread man. Follow the music. Right, go on, try it again. <clears throat> the pressure's on now. <laughs> you gotta get it quicker. <laughs> do you want to see my little things I've put on? This is brilliant. We do need to get some piano notes. I think it would help okay, both me and it. you. Go on. Yeah. Amazing. Now, if my singers no, would that's be so nice good. Show, then I actually think if your singers, like if hang people on. wanted to sing with me, we're there because I'm going to add some chords and I'll come in. I'm going to be your piano duetta. But you're going to have to go. You got the sustain pedal. Where's that? So we're starting with the, the G. Left or the right. The, the right. Three. And I hold it down. You hold it down. The just, whole time. No, no, no. When? Just for the start. And then. So we'll... I'm going to play a G. T fourth pedal. Yeah, and then continue. And then put it back on. When we move to the next chord. So we're going to go What's G. What's the next chord? So, first run, first And then when we get to the second. And then I'm going to do a D chord. Okay, right, so each time we get to a new line. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Steady. Let me just run through the chords. We've got a G, C, D, E, G, G. Okay, right, so we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, right, so we're going to go one, two, three. Wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you 
I'm making brie sandwiches with like a BLT so instead of bacon we do brie, so brie, lettuce and tomato sandwiches before the Sunday roast. Okay, lunch is delicious. We've just been watching um, Dynamo, like his new program on um, Sky Atlantic. Dynamo, if you don't know, is kind of like a magician. He's like the equivalent of like David Blaine in the US, but he's pretty well known around the world, isn't he? Like a lot of people know about Dynamo. It's really quite interesting. Mm. Anyway, whilst I was watching that, sorry, I will move my coat. I've been typing up essentially a step-by-step Christmas dinner timetable for Zara because I'm not going to be here for Christmas. So I wanted to put together a list for her to follow up because she's cooking for her parents. Step by step with timings, ingredients and things to do the night before and things to do on the day. So, so I've just typed this up. So we've got essentially full step by step instructions. Here we are. So this is step one, step two and then table of flavour profiles and quantities. So this is essentially everything Zara's going to need. So this is the full roast. So we've got turkey cram, roast beef, carrots with honey and fennel, parsnips with honey and mustard, roast potatoes with rosemary and garlic, sprouts, sage and bacon, peas and mint sauce, Yorkshire pudding, steamed tempestem broccoli, sage and onion stuffing balls, carrot and sweet mash and gravy. This is to do on the night before of Christmas Eve. I've put 10 past 9, have wine. <laughs> and then this is obviously to do on Christmas Day from 9am onwards. I was reading through some of your comments recently on a waitress, the dinner party vlog I did, and a lot of people said, oh, um, a lot of it was pre-made, and it was, but I, I actually have said this time and time again, pre-made food, a lot of people think it should be made from scratch and fresh, but if you want to spend more time at the table and with your family, then you can get some amazing stuff that's developed by chefs for supermarkets that can take away the stress or if you aren't as confident and want to have more time with your kids and family then I think buy it. Like Zara's going to try and make Yorkshire puddings from scratch and you can and they do in my opinion taste better but when you've got roast turkey, roast beef, sprouts, roast potatoes, carrots, parsnips, like the last of few things you need to be doing is making Yorkshire puddings. If you do, well done. If you don't, if you've only got a small conventional oven and you're cooking for six people it's quite stressful. So um, hopefully this will help. So while Zara does the roast, I'm not going to help at all. Um, I'm going to assemble some new chairs that we've had arrive from the range. been taking a back seat. I've done the hard work of typing up the recipes. I've been doing some um, piano learning of Sarah Borellis. Um, she used to be mine. It's quite tricky actually. It's only four sets of chords but I can't read music so it's something I really want to learn to do in the new year. So I've been writing down the chords and I've been following a tutorial on YouTube. So while I've been in here, Sarah has been working her magic in here. <laughs> How's it going? I'm listening to Rhythm of the Night. Rhythm of the I believe in the rhythm of the night. Dancing to the morning light. I'm on my Paris music. How have my instructions been thus far? Um, your written instructions are much better than your verbal. Like genuinely, if you went into teaching, you'd be better off writing them down than speaking. Right. Kindly. But have we got vegetables in the oven roasting? Vegetables are in the oven roasting. Is the gravy done? Gravy's done. Carrots have been in for 15 minutes. Should probably check now. Yeah. It's quite hot. Pull them out. Get back. Get back. Excuse me, Careful. Megatha. Not suitable for dogs. Nut really roast in there hot. as well. They look gorgeous. Well done. Yeah. Should they come out soon? No, no. They still need to roast. How are your sprout ones doing? Uh, probably not much because they're on the bottom of the oven. No, no. They're Actually, getting a nice bit I of colour. Swap them around with the pots. Yeah. Where would you look at that? Look at that absolute beauty. Even from a couple of weeks ago to now, mm -hmm. sensational. We've got honey roasted, um, carrots with fennel, we've got mustard with honey on the parsnips, minted peas, broccoli, um, roasted parsnips, Yorkshire pudding, nut roast, and roasted potatoes with garlic and rosemary salt, all in gravy. You should be so proud. <laughs> and then it's gonna be sensational, let's be honest. Oh my goodness. Merry Christmas. 
I think the plate speaks for itself. That was absolutely delicious. I went back for seconds and had more roast potatoes. You knocked it out of the park. Well done. Well done, sweetie. Right, I'm on dish duty then, I guess. And pudding. And pudding? And Well, good morning everyone. So today is Monday and it's officially a week till Christmas. I I say this and I say this with my whole heart. Where has the festive season gone? Oh, I have just been at my laptop. I mean, this is all about balance. I was shooting a cocktail this morning for a recipe that I've just been editing to send over for the last job of the year and Maggie's been keeping me company so this has been my, <laughs> my morning. I didn't film it because I had to shoot it the other way for Instagram, so yeah, it's all done. Look at you, Maggie's been feeling a bit under the weather. She, um, she's just been a bit, like, aloof and down. Yeah, I think she might have a bit of a stomach bug, so I gave her some scrambled eggs and some rice this morning, and she's been fine. And she's feeling a bit tired. Zara's request for me today was to tackle the chairs. Now, I did see it because the sofa hasn't gone yet. Putting chairs up is silly, however, I'm gonna pop one up just to see if we like them and if we do, we'll obviously keep them. I understand what she's saying, otherwise we might miss the returns period. So the sofas are gonna hopefully go this week if someone comes to collect them in time for the new sofa to go in here. It's a very similar dimension to this in terms of length, but the arms are slightly more um, rounded and lower, so it's a really nice, deep, lovely sofa that I think will really work in this room. These are relatively straightforward to put together. They didn't come pre-assembled, and obviously the price is very reflective of that. These, hello, for the pair I think are about 140 pounds, so 70 pounds to Zara, 70 pounds to me, and these are gonna be our new library chairs, which I'm so excited about. And there we are, this is a lovely seat. I'm so pleased, I feel like the arms are lovely. It's a really nice, reading seat. Oh, you're like, I can't wait to give that a try. Nope, it's leather, so you can't come up on these pop. We've actually saw some cushions online. I think we're gonna get, hopefully they might go on the January sales, but we're not too sure. Um, they've got like a lovely red torn with green fringing. So the idea is that, obviously I'll build a second one of those, and then we'll go on this wall. There's like two accent chairs, sofa will go, and that will be like a really nice reading nook, and obviously the piano will be on this wall eventually, so. Be a really nice clear walkway. It just looks like a lot right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now and hopefully have this live the day I'm filming this. Although, who knows with the schedule and the way things go sometimes, but I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Lots of love to you all and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.